Greetings and a blessed Christmas to you, to your family, to all of your loved ones. We bring you greetings this Christmas season from all of us here at All People's Church. And may the joy of the season of, uh, of Christ coming into this world, of just remembering that, fill your heart and the heart of your family and your loved ones. This week, as we continue thinking and pondering about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ into this world, I would like us to reflect on the love that God demonstrated for us in sending Jesus to us and what that means for us as we live life here on earth. So each day of this week, we are going to ponder a little bit on the love that God demonstrated for us and how that should influence and affect our life, our relationship with God and our journey through this world. Today, we want to just begin with the very fact that God so loved the world. We'll read John 3 verses 16 and 17, which are very familiar to verses. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Now let's think about these words. God so loved us. And we need to ponder and just remind ourselves over and over again that God loves us. God is for us. His heart is a heart of love towards you. God loves you. Now that seems such a very, seems such a simple and a very common phrase or a statement, you know, God loves you. But it's so deep, it's so meaningful, it's so rich, it's so comforting, it's so encouraging, it's our place of refuge to know that God loves us. And God so loved us that He gave. He did something. He let go of something from Himself. He gave His only Son. That is the eternal Word, who was part of the Godhead, one with the Father and the Spirit, came into this world and lived on this earth and walked as the Son of God. He gave His only Son. And, and the Bible tells us He gave His only Son so that we who believe in Him could have everlasting life, the life of God given to us. That word ever everlasting life is really talking about the Zoe life, the God kind of life given to us. So God gave His Son so that He could give to us eternal life. And this verse also emphasizes that God gave His Son so that we, we do, not to condemn us. So the love of God sets us free from all condemnation. When we receive the love, we are free from any sense of guilt, shame, and condemnation. We'll continue this this week. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you loved us so much that you gave. You gave your son. You gave eternal life. And you gave, Lord, a release from all condemnation because of your love. Thank you for your love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.